I wanted to begin by getting your reaction to this policy-driven China rally that we're seeing right now into this weekend's really critical news conference where policymakers are likely to outline more details about stimulus to come. How should market investors be thinking about the move higher that we're seeing today and that potential stimulus? Well, considering that the rally had been about a 40% rally over the last couple of weeks, having some level of correction made sense because it just skyrocketed so quickly. And a lot of it was probably short covering and a lot of FOMO that was happening to people that weren't even thinking about investing in China. And of course, here in the United States, you have two camps, people who are still not really convinced that this is going to do anything to with, to withhold the Chinese economy and then others who feel that this is a tremendous opportunity and it's just getting started. So this is where we like to look a little bit at cycles. And if you stretch out to more of a monthly chart view as opposed to a daily chart view, in August, China, if you're looking at FXI, which is a good ETF to measure how things are doing based on the stimulus, had already gone into a two-year business cycle expansion after being under pressure for a long time. And it had been under that pressure since 2021. So that's quite the reversal. But now what it's doing is it's running into resistance as we get into a longer-term business cycle, say a five to seven year. And so that's going to be the rub. If we're putting some numbers on that, we can say around 32 in FXI has been massive support. It kind of reached there today. And that's why the buying came in and held a critical moving average over 36, 37. If we can get through there, then I would say what basically the market is anticipating is that not only the stimulus will work, but that it will continue. And there has been some chatter that the real big guns won't happen until after the U.S. election.